Welcome to Housekeeping Tips with Cher. Hope you guys are doing great. You all have a wonderful Thanksgiving or a wonderful holiday. And you're going to be sitting and relaxing and watching me sharing uh, the way I maintain my place. Okay? I'm in the kitchen. So I just want to, you know, do a little maintaining um just just small things because you know as you know I tidy as I go along I maintain as I go along so what I do normally what I do um like polishing my chair you know make sure the microwave clean the microwave the stove and all of this I don't wait until they needs to be done I do them when I think it's time for them to be done Okay, so like my chairs, I will be polishing my chairs. You might think and say, oh, but he doesn't look like he needs polishing. Yes, I do this. This way, when I do this, um, it, you know, it stays in good condition. Jamaican would say condition, it stays in good condition. I don't wait until the things run down and you know I have to be stressing myself oh I need to do this I need to do that I do them when I feel like or when I think it's time to do them but not because they're in a bad shape okay so what I do is my chair if you have glass then we would clean the glass every time we eat because you know the glass tend to smear smear um, this I have a plastic here so I don't worry about, you know, anything spill and go through. Okay, so what I do, I like to damp my cloth. Yeah, get some water and damp it before I put the polish on. If I don't have the polish, I'm fine. I go ahead with my damp cloth. And I clean my chair, the little corner here. Especially when you have little kids. You know the handprint. You know some. It's not say little kids, cause you know they they have a, does it as well too. Yeah. So this is the way we keep our place. We maintain our place. We're not gonna get a little day off or home a little day, and then we're gonna kill ourselves with housework. No. We maintain our place. We know that we did not polish this for like two weeks. And I said, no, I think it needs some polish. I need to do it. I need to polish it because I haven't done it in two weeks. Not doing it because it looked bad. Wow, it needs to polish. No. We're maintaining it. I clean here. I don't have to worry about my living room or my bedroom yet. Right? And then when I clean the bedroom, then I don't have to be thinking about polishing these because I did them today. You gotta organize them. It's not about, oh, you don't have children or you're not working now. I have children and I work. And this is why I like to maintain the the, you know, maintain the place because when you're working and you're tired, you don't want to come spend your entire day doing housework. Oh. So here, I find, um, you know, I'm not that busy. I have a little time. So, nothing to sweat me. Right? So I do these. I don't have to be thinking of them. You have the polish and the these are wood. You can run them over it. And look, it's not gonna take me no time, right? I'm not gonna be tired. Oh, 
are maintaining our place. Okay. And we have this. See? Nothing to stress out stress us out with. Nothing to stress us. And then we go over here. This is our stove. These they washed already, they're already clean. So all we have to do is maybe just run this over it. Run our rag over it. Whatever time we cook, we wet it off right away. Because if you cook and you leave stuff on it. Then it's gonna dry it up. And then you're gonna cook tomorrow again and then stuff gonna be on it, dries up. And then we're gonna have to get that knife and we're gonna have to scrape. And you're gonna say, oh, I'm tired. But then if you, after you had cook and you do this, the rag is just over the sink and you do this, clean up all the mess, things spill over, just do it right away. We'll try it then. What I do when I'm cooking and things, you know, like frying or anything, I just wipe, you know, once, once I take off the pot, I just clean it off. So I don't have to, you know, to worry to do this. In our oven, uh, we're going to do a lot of baking and stuff like that because, you know, Christmas coming up and thing like that. So what do you do? Once you bake, clean it out right away. Don't wait. Clean it out. Um, my stove is older. It's an old stove. So you have some stove that has the depart the part that you can put stuff to warm and things like that. What you could do, that's why I have this foil out here. Is use your foil. When you when it get gets mess messy, then you can throw it away. It's like this. This, I normally wash with it. Okay? But for people who don't really have the time to wash, you can do this. Make it simple. Okay? See? Do it like this. And then you put it in. Right? So when you're doing whatever, you have it and then it's e at least it's easy to change. Right? Your microwave, you use it. Whenever times you use it, you make sure. Well, I always have my spray bottle, and you clean it right away. This, it has to be washed because it's plastic. So if you use it to cover when you're eating up, then you wash it. We don't want to use microwave. You know, my family would use like uh, the pot, you know, the frying pan, and they eat it up, or I'll use the oven. You know, microwave is once in a while we use it. Right, so that is it. Clean your cupboards. Make sure when anything spills, daddy, children, well, it depends on how all the children are, then, you know, you want to clean it. You don't want to leave it for one person, you know, mommy to come and clean it. No, you're going to clean it too. Daddy can do it. Of course, when daddy do things, daddy use a coffee cup, don't throw it in the sink, wash it out, put it down. Okay, daddy spill things, even on the floor, there's a mop, I'm sure there's a mop somewhere. You come and you wipe it, it's like the kitchen. I don't have to wipe the kitchen every day, right? Um, most of like weekends I'll do it because you know a lot of cooking. But you're maintaining your kitchen, so uh, when you see little spots, you know, you just take your mop and wipe it. You don't wait until weekend. I tend to sweep my kitchen every day, okay? But I don't get to wipe it every day, but I sweep it every day. While I'm sweeping it, if I see any little spot, I'll take them up and I'll wipe it. And then weekends are so long that you give it a good wash, okay? As for our refrigerator here, I said it's like um, you clean your fridge like it's uh, before, at the end of the month, before, you know, when it's empty. For me, I 
clean my fridge right you know like as I go along in the sense that um, if something is spilled I clean it things like this like this what I tend to do I wipe this off wipe it off you see little spots in your fridge you do you wipe it you go in there for milk and you see something you wipe it this I tend to keep my onion in there okay so when I keep my onion in there they they tend to be like um, the trash from the onion what I'll do I'll take these out yeah I'll show you these, these are onion trash. So I'm gonna take them out. And throw them in my garbage. And I'm gonna clean this out. Remember the fridge is full, but when you see it was cleaned before, I know you know a lot of things is in there. But although a lot of things is in the fridge, it can be you know, you can keep it clean, tidy. Um, here I have some bags. Remember these little bags? I have them. All kind of bags. Like whatever time I, you know, feed my chicken or anything, I put it into one of them, tie it up, and put it in the freezer. Because I don't like to put uh, the chicken meat, the bones and stuff in the bin until the day when the garbage truck is coming. Because you don't want it to smelly. You don't want flies, you know. So what we do, we put them in these little bags. So I tend to store these little bags so I can have them for stuff. Even sometimes rice, like you have leftover rice that you're not gonna use. Rice that you're not gonna use. Is a threat in the garbage. You put them into these little bags, yeah? And tie them up and put them in your fridge, in the freezer or something. But you don't want to throw, like you scrape the porridge out of the pot throw it in the garbage no i put it in this tie it up and put it away so i'm going to put back these now i'm going to clean this out i just put them in so this is what happens be tidy as we go along so we don't have to be waiting like i'm here now and um you're going to do the whole so you're going to be tired no i'm going to do this i'm doing this because there's not much to do in the kitchen. See? There's not much to do. Right? Because I maintain it. There's not much to do. What I do, this, I can't bother to take off this. So what I tend to do, I do like this. I can't be bothered to take them off one, one. So I do this. This, you hold your fridge door every second. So you tend to clean it off, keep it clean. And then if you can reach, that is why it's good that you don't have a crowded place because you're supposed to can reach anywhere. All right, anywhere. You clean up your place. As for this, the oven, I can take this down. Okay, I'll let it sit. I can lift it up. Right. The wipe here. You want to make sure you lift up your stuff when you're cleaning. This, I can just pull it. And you lift it up and you wipe under it. Okay? <laughs> wipe off the top. The kettle, I clean it off in the mornings when I get up. Right? So I always keep it. When I'm cooking or stuff like that, I move it because I don't want any. Although, you still got to wash it, but you still don't want, you know, a lot of grease and thing, you know, splash on it. Because sometimes if you don't wash it properly, you see, you know, some people, kettle it has this grease and stuff on it. No, when, once you're frying, I'll take up 
my kettle. Okay, and as I said, I wash my kitchen mostly. I would love, like, you know, when I'm around, I wash it every other day. But um, on weekends is when I do Friday, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. I do a lot of, of washing. But any little spots, I'm going to see them and I'm going to clean them. And I like to sweep. Okay. This is the way that we maintain our place. Not only our kitchen, but our living, dining. You know, you're in the bedroom, you're watching. And you feel like you take the dust and the dust and you dust off your dresser, you dust off your TV. Don't wait until everything backs up. And then you have this one big cleaning with, that would drive you nuts. Because I don't know how people do it, but if I had was to be cleaning the entire place one time, I will go crazy. So therefore, although I'm not cleaning the entire place one time, I do not want the place to be messy. So I control, I always on top of things, right? I am on top of whatever I do, okay? My bathroom, every, and I'm working. And I, deal with, I, I used to have small children. I deal with children. But if you're organized, right, you can do things. Organize and discipline yourself. You do laundry this two, every two weeks, stick to every two weeks. Not two weeks this week, next week, three weeks. No, because the laundry from the two weeks ago, and if you didn't get to fold it, and then you're going to do more, it's going to add up. And then you seem going to complain it's hard. So you can make your, your work simple. Not really simple of such, but you can, you know, you can make your work manageable. You can manage your work if you're organized, okay? Just be organized and stick to whatever, whatever plans, you know, way you plan to do your housework. And it's work out fine. If you enjoy this video or you find it interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.